right. <clears throat> yeah, everybody. Yeah. What's going on? What's happening? What's up, everybody? What's going on, everybody? There's zero people there. There's four. four. <laughs> <laughs> It grows quickly. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. Um, happy Father's Day weekend. Yes. Hope everybody had a wonderful, lovely Father's Day. Yes. Um, I watched my dogs murder a rabbit last night. Yeah, she was just telling me about the murder of a rabbit in her backyard and the screaming involved. Oh, God, it was awful. It was awful. She didn't know that rabbit screamed. I didn't know that they sounded like that mm -hmm. in the throes of death. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and this is what dogs do, man. This is what dogs do. Sometimes, you know, you love your dogs, and they're very cuddly, and they're very domestic, right? They get all domesticated when they live with you. But then every once in a while, they remind you that they have instinct. There's like that wild instinct in their, in their dogdom. <laughs> And I not, I'm not mad at them. It's just that I wish I hadn't seen and heard it. You guys, it was awful. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the Trump rally happened on Saturday in Tulsa, and you've probably heard that there was some controversy surrounding the attendance portion of the rally. Because of the TikTok. <laughs> because of grandma TikTok. Because of the Chinese TikTok. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's from China. If you're on TikTok, just remember that it's from China. Mm -hmm. Just remember that, that you're contributing to China. <laughs> I China. think a uh, couple lessons can be learned from how this rally went. Number one, don't talk about ticket sales in advance of the rally. Um, because what happens when you say that there are a million people who have reserved spots is that a whole bunch of people hear that number and think, well, there's no way I'm gonna even try to go. And then you don't get people to go. Um, also, people are scared of COVID and protesters. That is another contributing factor, I think, to the lower than expected attendance. But the biggest factor, of course, was this TikTok campaign um, because of some grandma, what's her name, Mary Jo. Mary Jo Lop, which is, by the way, what everybody calls her accidentally. Drives me crazy. <laughs> Listen, my name is Amy Jo. My real name is Amy Jo, and people always call me Mary Jo. Always. And I'm like, no. Always. I don't say, a lot of times I just kind of let it go. Like, like people all the time will call me Mary, in, in emails even. And I'm just like, it, you can see that my name, <laughs> and I'll just roll my eyes and go, whatever. <laughs> I just, I'm done. But this act, this woman actually is a Mary Jo, 51-year-old mm -hmm. grandma living in Iowa, and she decided to rally her TikTok followers and then get other TikTok followers to do this too, to reserve tons and tons and tons of tickets uh, to make it look as though a whole bunch of people were going to go, but obviously they had never had any intention of going. So that, again, was a problem. And then there's some conflicting reports about did protesters block certain entrances to the rally, it appears that they did, um, but then other people are like, nah, -uh, they did not. And so I don't know, you guys. I don't know about that. I do know that AOC she is like. She's a huge hand. She's nee, all. Nee, nee, yeah. nee, nee, she's nee. very, very gloaty about this. So gloaty. Mm -hmm. She was. Like, she actually said on Twitter, shout out to Zoomers, K pop stands. Y'all make me so proud. Because she thinks it's hilarious that a Chinese company essentially is helping to interfere in our election process. That's okay with AOC. Oh, I'm so, so glad that a, a bartender is now a congressperson. <laughs> um, but the good news is that the rally itself was very, very Trumpy. And I think that anybody who attended probably had like the best time ever. Yeah, a lot of good things were said. I mean, he did a great job. He was, yeah. We did have you a lot see of the water? That was my favorite no, part. No, oh what do you mean the water? So remember at the, la like at the West Point thing, he got criticized because he used two hands to drink water. Yeah. So at the rally, he was telling the story about why, and it had something to do with the fact that he had saluted like 600 times. And then he said, he, like to prove that he's obviously capable of drinking with one hand. He had a glass of water on the stage, drank out of it, and then freaking threw it to the side like a total <laughs> badass. It was amazing. So he could show it everybody. It was amazing. I saw a thing going around yesterday. Um, I can't remember what it, I think it was on Instagram. 
And they kept showing that um, clip of him walking with the, you know what I'm talking about? He told that story too. Yeah, where he's walking with the military guy down the ramp and everything. About, and they were like, he is so feeble. We need to elect Joe Biden. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Joe Biden has dementia. <gasps> I, you, I mean, it's it's unbelievable what they're doing to this guy. It's unreal. Like, and he told that story, too. And that's the thing, is that he's so good at making fun of how the media is portraying him. Yeah. When anybody with half a brain knows that yeah. it's, he's fine. Yeah. He's fine. I said, Listen, I saw a lot of the other clips from the, the rally, and he's, I mean, he's great. That is, like, where he really shines, yeah. is when he can just talk to the people directly, yeah. right? That's where he was, he's great. He's yeah, right. it was really, really yeah, good. Yeah, we're going to play a lot of them on our show today. Definitely going to do that. Um, There's a really great ad against Biden, con yes. you know, conversely. It's like, this is something that it's him basically, uh, like all the, not even all. There's probably, what, four clips in there that just show him being all dementia ridden. Oh my God. So bad, you guys. And when they put them together and they're like, here's your choice. It's well, well done, you. <laughs> good I mean, Lord. Yikes. Yeah. Um, what else? We need to talk about this uh, Chop and Chaz and how people, there are two people that are now, they've been shot. It's not exactly the love fest uh -uh. that the mayor of Seattle has said that it would be. And Inslee, you know, Inslee's love, he's, I know that he doesn't really, I don't know, I don't think he really has jurisdiction over the city, but still, it's like, he's just, remember when he was like, I didn't know this was happening. I haven't heard it from any credible sources. Yeah. <laughs> What an idiot. It's so yeah. dumb. But now there's like violence in there, right? Violence is happening when these people thought it was going to be this great utopia. And police try to get in there to help. And they're like, mm-mm, no. And then they were, they're supposed to have medics in there that are helping these people. The medics are useless. And so they had, I think, a medic on the outside, right on the outskirts, that was going to help. And the guy, the warlord, is screaming at the, the medic on the outside going, why aren't you helping? Why aren't you helping? Oh my God. Like, <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be an all encompassed, like, little utopia. Handle it. Yeah, I thought you guys were autonomous. Handle What's it. Real? Do you know what autonomous means? Yeah. Because mm -mm. no. autonomous means you're not accepting help from the outside. Yeah. You got your own thing going. And yeah. so handle it. And I, and I thought that, you know, people weren't supposed to be getting hurt in there. I thought that the whole idea of this was that they were, it was supposed to be. This hippy dippy, everybody is happy. Everybody loves everybody. And dancing and singing songs and holding hands and singing kumbaya. I thought that's what it was supposed to be. And now two people have been shot in two days. What the hell? Yeah, shot? One of them's dead. And you know what? The one that's dead is he graduated high school Friday night, dies in Chaz on Saturday night. Oh my God. Yeah. It sounds like a really cool, great place. Good job, you guys. Good lord. Good job with all of that. Did we talk on, I don't think we did, about the whole um, Duluth mayor wanting to get rid of the word chief? We have not talked about that, no. We're going to be talking about that on the show today. Can yeah. you believe this crap? So the mayor is like, we want to be proactively um, responsive to potential complaints from Native Americans that currently do not exist. We have no complaints. Okay, so white people are already offended on behalf of Native Americans right. who are like, we're not offended. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine with the, the word chief. chief is actually a really positive thing. We're cool so with it. We're cool with it, white people clutching <laughs> your pearls. Can you just shut up and quit being offended on behalf of everybody else, you <laughs> losers? But yeah, this 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 chick, Emily Larson, oh my God. she's on this huge crusade now to, to get rid of the word chief and job titles in the city job titles. So like no more chief. There was a couple... Um, chief administrative officer instead of having that they they want to just change it to city administrator and then instead of having a cfo a chief financial officer they would have a finance director and then what about chief um executive officer that's like, that's right yeah i thought you said chief a you said c no but they would get rid of it in all of them so if there's a, a ceo, CEO C okay, you can't cfo have all of it you can't have any of that oh Okay. And so that's going to be, and that also includes, of course, the chief of police, which is going to be really problematic considering that's what every single city across the country calls the chief of police. Mm. They call them police chief. 
And okay. so that's that's dumb. Mm -hmm. But that's, of course, what they want to do. And their community relations officer, another white woman. Of um, course. It's always a white woman. It's always white women. And usually living in an upper middle class neighborhood, <laughs> sitting on her keyboard, trying to find things to be offended by. But they mm -hmm. said out loud that the city is, quote, trying to be proactive about the change before residents ask. So no one has complained. Mm -mm. No one has said, I have a problem with this word. They're just deciding willy-nilly yeah. that they need to get rid of the word chief. God, all these white women are offended. And what's really scary about that is that if that took off, because um, my husband uses that word constantly when well, he can't is, remember guys' This names. is the thing. They go, hey, chief. <laughs> yeah, that's what hey, they do. Hey, boss, what's up? <laughs> I mean, this he is, would be so screwed. I know. Because it, I mean, like, it just flies out of his mouth r routinely. Because mm -hmm. he is not good with names. Well, and, this, I, a lot of people use that word. Yeah. He, like, it's interchangeable with buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey chief. chief. Yeah. Sometimes, I swear I've heard a champ. From time to champ, time, champ he is insists another one. that he yeah. doesn't say champ, uh -huh. but I think I've heard mm -hmm. him say champ. Yeah. So you can't do that. You can't do that now because of cancel culture. This is what's happening. <laughs> Good lord. Everything. Everybody, I'm just so over this crap, y'all. I'm so over this cancel culture. You know what it is? <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's three gallons of milk uh -huh. in the two gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it is. Yep. And then between all that and like statues being toppled everywhere. Uh, yeah. What are we doing? A Grant statue. Washington. Washington. This is what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. we're, yeah. We're tearing down Washington. Okay. How about we just not tear any statues down that whatsoever? That's probably a good, it's a good start. And people just learn to deal with the fact that we actually have a country history. Mm -hmm. And that there's nothing wrong with having memories of that no, history. No, shh. It's owie. Oh, no. No, shh. <laughs> It's owie. <laughs> we can't have it because it's owie. Oh, no, we can't We have can't that. have it. His, it's George Washington. For crying out loud. He, he, it's our country. You know what? He found it. What are we going to do about... Um, what's the, why can't I think of the name? The, the, you know, she's going to start doing this. <laughs> this is what she does to me in the show every day. And I'm like, it's Pac-Man. With the giant what is no, like the, in the mountain. What Mount is, Rushmore? Yes, Mount Rushmore. Mount oh Rushmore. The, well, they're just going to have to tear it down. I mean, they're seriously. They're going to have to tear it down. Ha, I'm, I'm genuinely worried. Well, you if should If they be. start freaking blasting that with explosives. They will blast it with explosives. Yeah, I can't believe you just gave them the idea. Because this is what they're <laughs> oh, going to do. Oh, I'm sure somebody's had the idea I'm already. sure this is what they're. Yeah. I can't. I just cannot. This is what they're gonna do now. Cause how do you how do you leave that? And then while you're tearing down all these monuments you, and statues you elsewhere, you don't. Mount Rushmore. It'll be either either that they're gonna get a giant sheet and cover it. <laughs> Cause we can't see it. You know. <laughs> you can't have a tarp. That. They're gonna put a tarp over That's it. It's gonna be a big ass tarp. A giant tarp. <laughs> There's gonna be like helicopters covering it with a because because it's owie we can't see you can't it have that. it just it hurts people assault your eyes it's, it hurts people it's an assault <laughs> memorial we can't have it um, also here's something really disgusting there's this kid who is um, making she has this little nonprofit that she started called Blue Line Bears perhaps you've heard of it so she takes the uniforms of police officers who have died in the line of duty and turns them into teddy bears for the surviving kids or family members. So if you can think of anything wrong with that, I, you have a problem. We can't be friends. <laughs> I mean, I mean I just, I'm just letting you know right now, we're not going to be, not gonna you be and friends. I aren't going to be friends. Nope. Um, but because there's idiots out there who are cop-hating jerks, yeah. they've decided to um, threaten her with death mm -hmm. because a kid. a kid a kid for doing this and so she gets death threats because she is trying to provide support to family members of fallen officers uh -huh. in the form of like, teddy bears like children How to do you children who have lost like their moms and dads because they were out trying to help people and so she's giving them teddy bears to say hey i hope you feel better i love you and i want to make you feel better because this kid has a really great heart and now she's getting death threats. Can you imagine? Can you imagine having that much hate in your heart where you're giving a kid death threats because of that? Like, what is wrong with you? Seriously. What is wrong? How, like, how, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Honestly. It's just, wow. It's horrific. Yeah. Absolutely horrific. Mm -hmm. So that is happening. Um, They're trying to cancel Yale. 
And this is a, I love this actually because this to... is just a huge joke. But it's 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 like a stick in the eye, right? Of all this cancel culture bullshit. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so I think it was Ann Coulter actually who started the hashtag, the yeah. cancel Yale hashtag. Yeah. And she's on this crusade saying, well, I mean, listen, Yale was named after a slave trader, yeah. so we're gonna have to let's, totally cancel let's the cancel, school. Let's cancel Yale. I mean, we got to get rid of it, right? Yeah. And so now, too, that's extended to Harvard. Harvard had a slave trade. Let's cancel so Harvard. We got to get rid of it. Cancel it. Cancel it all together. Cancel I don't know how it. you can save it. I don't know how you can have it continue mm -hmm. to exist. No, we got to get rid of it. Both I mean, of them. It's for fairness, you guys. Yeah. For fairness and equality. Yeah. Cancel both We're of them. We're going to have to just cancel Cancel all both of, that. of them and all the elitist people in, in both of those places. We gotta just cancel, cancel it. it. <laughs> Uh, also, mm -hmm. I guess John Bolton did his big tell-all interview last night. I didn't watch it. I didn't care. I was busy watching my dogs Kern murder rabbits. Colonel so. Sanders. Otherwise, I was engaged. watching Yellowstone. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. That's what I was doing. <laughs> so Bolton was on, and he said the things. Um, and blah blah <laughs> blah. I just don't think this is going to move the needle in any way. Mm -mm. Uh, nor do I think the needle will be moved by Trump's niece, who is also, of course, releasing a tell-all. Now Trump is saying she better not because there's a very strong NDA. She says. seems so happy. Yeah. Have His you seen niece, her picture? Guys? She seems like, like the most miserable human being. <laughs> she really she does. Re she does. And she calls Trump the most dangerous man in the world. He's so Dangerous. He's the most dangerous. What with his like great economy, I know building skills. I know the he most dangerous. So dangerous. You can tell she's not gotten out much at all. <laughs> He's the most dangerous man. <laughs> Joy, Joy, so Joy. Um, God, see, get out of the Hamptons, <laughs> lady. God. <laughs> oh, here's a headline that obviously is. A yeah, we should thing. totally cancel Planned Parenthood. That would be great, wouldn't it? And it would save us what? How much money would that save us a year? Five half a billion bucks. Five hundred million dollars a year. Half a billion bucks. That's half a billion. Yeah, um, that would save us a lot of money. We could use that elsewhere. Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner have slipped into skimpy bodysuits body to promote their new makeup line. Oh, thank God. As you would. That's what we needed. <laughs> That's just what we needed right now, in the middle of 2020, is we needed Kendall and Kylie to slip into skimpy bodysuits. That is That's, a headline. That's what the, that is important. That's what the world needed right now. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah. I think that's really it. I mean, we're going to uh, we have so much audio. Yeah, we're talking about A.G. Barr today because he was trying to be a gangster and, and barred around He doesn't even have to try, man. He just Well, is. I got to tell you, though, I was watching that live yesterday. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. I watched it live, and I, I looked at my husband, and I'm like, he's a gangster. And he's like, no, he's not. He's not a gangster until he does the stuff. When you talk about the stuff, you're not a gangster. Gangsters don't just talk about the stuff. They do the stuff. I think the stuff is in progress. Yeah, well, I feel very good about it. I kind of agree with my husband, though. I mean, he's he has a point. Gang, gangsters don't just talk a good talk; they do the things. He's like, so it's one thing to get on a show and be all gangster talky, <laughs> but until you until you do the things, he needs to deliver on the things. And so far, I gotta see it, Mock. I gotta see the things happening. Just I feel like good about it. I just do. like all the FBI <clears throat> stuff. All the F all the people in the FBI that I've yet to see any he any heads roll. I have yet to see but that. But he happen. says that there are developments. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, he says the things. I, I mean, mean, it's still in investigating. Struck in page. And I and, and and Comey is still sitting on his moss, you know, <laughs> quoting Robert Frost. I have yet to see any heads roll. I want <laughs> to see heads roll. I want to see people held accountable. Until I see that happen, I, I'm listen. I, I appreciate the guy, and I feel like he could be gangster, but you're not <laughs> gangster until heads are rolling. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're gonna roll. Well, that's <laughs> nice that you feel that way, but I mean, I have actions, confidence in AG Bar. You, yeah, I, I, you, actions speak louder than, I know. than words. But I just need to hope for that. I need to have some hope. <laughs> it's like, if what is the reservation thing? You know how to take the reservation. You just don't know how to hold the reservation. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> I need him to hold the reservation. That's what I need. I, I do too. That's what um, I need. 
But come I, on, AG I Bar. need to have some hope about this. Yeah, so okay, I do. well, come on, AG so Bar. Let's do. like see if you have the testicular fortitude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> come on. Um, she reminded me this morning that it is my birthday week. It's her birthday <laughs> week, you guys. And I haven't been nearly as excited about this year as I was last year, because last year was like a huge birthday. Yeah, and this year is like whatever. I mean she and this year is 2020, which sucks. Like this year Listen, sucks so hard. It sucks all the monkey balls. But the problem is that like usually for a month we celebrate her birthday, and by this <laughs> point I am about to murder her. And like I <laughs> And she hasn't celebrated at all. So I I'm really haven't. Beginning I've been to wonder very if, subdued about it. Yeah, so I'm wondering if we should call like a therapist or something. <laughs> Something's wrong with her, you guys. I just am so like over this year. And so I just I don't know. I haven't been as excited about She's my birthday. She's very, this year. very depressed. I'm very concerned about her. So anyways, her birthday is on Friday. Thursday. So that's on Thursday. <laughs> so we will be <laughs> See, I don't even know. I don't even know. I haven't been telling you all like for days and days. I haven't been doing a countdown, but like yeah. now, I okay, feel like the countdown. So is gonna Thursday, happen. everybody needs to make sure you have your coffee and your donuts ready to celebrate. Because I'll be bringing donuts in. We'll be celebrating. Today we'll is my birthday, Eve, Eve, Eve. Yes, <laughs> it That's is what I normally do. Usually, she's like Eve, 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 Eve. Eve. That's what's true. Yeah, I do. So and I haven't. Get so. ready to celebrate on Thursday because we will be doing. Oh, <laughs> up in here on Thursday morning. So make sure you guys are Yay. prepared for that and have all your, you know, your vittles ready. <laughs> you know. Yes. Uh, we're going to have some voicemails to play on the show today. Uh -huh. We're going to be playing a lot of different clips from all kinds of different things. Yep. Um, so you should definitely listen to the show. That is from 9 to 11 on WIBC.com. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, very, very excited once again. You guys need a, a farting Trump. Hold yes, on. Yes, you do. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. Happy Monday to everybody. Tomorrow on the podcast, the Mock and Daisy Common Sense Cast, we will be speaking with, very, very excited, with Zuby. Uh, if you don't know Zuby, you should know Zuby. Zuby is a rap artist, but also he's become very, very popular in conservative circles on social media because he's amazing and he's a black man offers amazing insight into politics and culture we're gonna be talking to him about cancel culture mm -hmm. he also brings a perspective from over the seas he's in the UK uh -huh. um, and he's just a lovely person a lovely soul and we're gonna be talking to him you'll definitely want to catch that on Wednesday so make sure you subscribe to the mock and easy common sense cast if you have not already do it <laughs> And make sure you guys are following us on like the Instagram and the Twitter and all that kind of stuff at Chicks on Right. Do yeah. all the things. Do all those. And don't forget, we've got four more days of morning videos. Mm -hmm. And then we'll week. be we'll be on, on the vacation for a week. So Yeah, so we'll get, you guys. get your fix this week. <laughs> all right, because then we're gonna be gone for we're a week. Uh-huh. All right. Doing vacation thing. Okay, you guys bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Have a fabulous day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.